got a way of making beautiful things. You never know what nature will teach her, what inspiration will bring. DIY, DIY, Daisy, what are we making today? DIY, DIY, Daisy, I bet we'll make something great. Hello, Gumboot Kids. Hi, Daisy. I just saw some teeny little baby ducks at the pond. Do you know what baby ducks are called? Ducklings. Ducklings are so soft, fluffy, and yellow, just like this beautiful wool. Do you want to make some pom-pom ducklings with me, Gumboot Kids? Yay! Step one. Next time you visit a pond in the spring, take a look around for some ducklings. Imagine how you'd like your pom-pom duckling to look. <laughs> now, step number two. Collect some supplies. You'll need some yellow wool. You can make a pom-pom by wrapping the wool around and around your four fingers, like so. Then, slip it off your fingers and tie it around the middle. Cut the ends, like so. I've always wanted to learn how to make a pom-pom. Now I know how. Well done, Gumboot Kids. Make a smaller pom-pom for the duckling's head and a larger pom-pom for the duckling's body. You may need to trim the ends of your wool to shape your pom-pom into a sphere. Next, you glue the two pom-poms together. I love making nature crafts. Me too, and I love ducklings. All right, Gumboot Kids, now for step three. Let's add some features to give our ducklings some character. You can use beads, googly eyes, or anything you'd like. You can even cut out a small piece of felt to use as its beak. And remember, there's no right or wrong way to make a nature craft. So have fun! I'm really happy with the way my pom-pom duckling is turning out. I can't wait to give my ducky to my grandma. She's going to love it. All right, Gumbo Kids. Let's see what you've made. <laughs> Pom-pom ducklings are so sweet. I love them. I'm going to name my duckling Sweetie Pie. Your pom-pom ducklings are fabulous, Gumboot Kids. I made a little duckling, too. And this little duckling has a little duckling friend. Goodbye, Gumboot Kids. Goodbye, Daisy.